Digital Home Media. Hi, uh, I'm Warren Burns with Experimental Home Media. We've just been at the Good and Free Festival and the Art Exhibition down in the Marine Hotel. And we just saw all the gluten free options they ha have in the market there. And I got myself some gluten free beer. And uh, we also went and saw the Art Exhibition there where they had some very interesting pictures and paintings, sort of ones that were very very much like photos but slightly blurred would be the only way you'd be able to distinguish them that they actually are paintings rather than photos. It's a beautiful day here at Ballet Castle. Uh, why don't you come on down and have a nice wonderful day. And then we've got the beef meatballs and the beef burger also. Well, I love them in their They're pretty nice, aren't they? Yeah. There's more pork contents in them than the normal pork sausage. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. How is it gluten free? I don't get that. Why is it gluten full and how is it gluten free? You have, you've, got rusk, you've got rusk in sausages, which is made from wheat. So we, we, we take yeah yeah so we take the rust out of it um, and, and the seasoning sometimes can have wheat flour in it as a, as a binder so that's all taken out of it and, uh, yeah there's a there are higher meat content. So. Like what was the point originally of the filler? Like was it just to add more? Yeah, well you know, if you, just, if you had a pork sausage that was 100% pork, yeah. sure it's like eating a pork, pork chop, yeah. uh, it's, it's all about the flavour and, and yeah. the texture of it. So. Okay. I mean, yeah, sausages, that's what sausages are, you know, they're, they're six, those are 63% pork, yeah. and then there's fillers in it, there's seasoning and spice in it. So. Any questions when you put me on TV because I bug all about being a Celia <laughs> guy? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bush can, mate, yeah. They're just new, they're new recipes. Want to know if it tastes any good. If you like the number, hopefully in the next two or three months will happen and then it'll be sold in bag form like this, maybe two or three kilo bag. And then you sell them chips at home and chocolate chip at the end. That's very good. Gluten-free Ireland, basically a directory of where you can eat out all over Ireland. Um, but we run these events to showcase all the manufacturers, or as many manufacturers as we can get to come to it, um, of gluten-free food. Because it's quite hard to find gluten-free food, and it's quite hard to source it. Um, a lot of celiacs and people who are gluten intolerant just cannot um, always find where to eat out. And, and you know, it's quite difficult being a celiac uh, or gluten intolerant for that matter. And uh, there's a lot of food out there, but not everybody knows about it. So these events help to bring it to the celiac community and those who want gluten free food. They know where the food's available and who's making it and who's selling it and so forth. And so the, uh, that's what the event is really all about.
I don't know, I think I might be so good here. You're all right. That one's good. Because you're a predictable child of habit.